this is the spot that we're going to transform into the dome area. So this camper is in the spot of where we're going to put the dome. We're going to extend the deck out from here. And um, guys, we've had this camper here and wondering what to do with it. We've um, tried to think about renovating it, but because this is going to be for an Airbnb project, guys, this is a little too dated and we don't want to take the time in having to renovate this entire thing. So Eric is taking some pictures and we're going to try and list it. Now what we want to do is build this deck out. So get the camper moved and build the deck out twice the size. So we're going to take the deck underneath the camper and then we're going to build our circular bump outs for where we need the dome to sit. This is the view that you get from that spot. And guys, right now the leaves are changing. It is so beautiful. You can see all those array of colors, the oranges, the reds, the yellows are now coming in. You have that cute little barn and farmhouse down the way that you get to look onto. You are so secluded and away from the road. And we're gonna situate that dome window kind of right here, angular, so you can see right into that mountain, guys. Our task today is gonna be taking down the bathhouse. Now remember, they took out their tank, so they didn't have a bathroom in the camper anymore so this was their bathhouse and again we cannot leave this because first of all our dome has a bathroom thank you there's an ensuite then this bathroom you know he never even used it because he never got it done and it just sat guys and got moldy and just filthy the shower I mean there's just a lot matter of fact the door doesn't even fit the the doorway so we will not be keeping this bathroom. And so today we're actually gonna work on tearing it down. So that's what we're working on today. And I'm just so excited to put this dome in action, to start building out the platform for it. And just to see where it's gonna sit and what it's gonna look out to is amazing. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys subscribe and stick around for when we do put the dome right here in its place. Gonna stop? All right guys, like I said, we are gonna try and save the windows. So Eric's just gonna take those out lightly first and then we're probably just gonna try to get as much of the panel as we can and then we'll use the Mini-X on it. making good progress we were able to get a lot of that junk out of there and when I say junk I wanted you guys to see how disgusting some of this stuff was so we always try to reuse things but some things are just they need to be put to rest we're trying to do a luxury glamp site here and this kind of stuff will not cut it we're not looking for builder grade stuff I'm really excited about this find because this is a brand new water heater and it's so tiny <laughs> really cool for a tiny house so we definitely will be keeping the water heater um we're gonna keep the windows guys you saw me pull out the other windows here's the third window eric's working on and this place was brand new they never got it finished and never got to use it so a lot of the things end up just being trashed before it can be used the shower believe it or not as dirty as it is it has never been used it's a brand new shower. We're gonna try and refurbish it and see if we can get the paint off of it and get it cleaned up. Not for the dome because we already have an ensuite for the dome, but we are going to 
still try to use it and save these windows. So there wasn't much in here to save. It is pretty disgusting. A lot of the wood we we're gonna try and save, but as I pulled the vanity out, we had a family of mice run from underneath it outside in this hole right here. So all of this is stained with basically rat droppings. But as far as the wood and any other pieces that is not brand new piping and stuff, we're not gonna reuse that. Um, it smells so bad in here that I'm afraid to even use the, the panel that they have in here. But we're definitely gonna keep the water heater because that's gonna be on the outside. And yeah, guys, this one was kind of disappointing because we wanted to be able to save on wood. And as we got in here, we realized that the ceiling had some kind of leak too. So that wood is not all that great. Separate that. We got one crack right here. Mm. There's a lot of glue back there. I'm gonna say, is it worth keeping it then? Oh, Probably it's not. Cheap shower and yeah. everything will be fine. Letting her go. What about the outside part? Can we at least keep that? Or it's all one piece? I don't know. I don't know if you buy them separate or not. I feel like you can. I feel like you could even buy a different floor and we just keep the glass part. No, the thing is, do you like the glass? I'm not crazy about it. Like if you were to buy another one, I would probably do a box one. Yeah, and then more see-through, I don't know. Yeah. Let her go. I think they probably had some plumbing issues with getting this up and running. So we know they never used it, but it just sat here and got corroded and just so bad. So guys, we're just going to save us some time and headaches and worrying about trying to take this apart and save anything because we do want this to be um, an awesome experience for someone and we don't want people to have to be using things that we paste together so we're just going to go ahead and tear this thing down. <clears throat> I think that's going to be the best bet for us. We are wasting too much time trying to save things that after we get it out, we realize, oh, we don't want that. We can't keep that. Same thing like with this closet door and that vanity. They were just leaning up inside the building and we're like, oh, we can use it. It was never used. You take it down. The mirror's all warped. You realize that they're 50 bucks, you know, so it's not worth it. Just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Trust this. Hi right, guys, so this is the area that the dome and it's basically common area and campfire area is going to be. And just look over into that mountain. It is so smoky right now, but guys, in the morning, you can definitely tell why it's called the Smoky Mountains because it is literally like covered in smoke. Where Eric is right now is where we have the bathhouse and this side is actually a little garage that he had for his tools. And so now we're taking that down and that's gonna become part of the platform where we put the dome. So you can definitely have this view from all the way back here. Be careful, babe. Hmm? You want me to hold the ladder? Oh yeah, you climbed up through the mini X. That came off easy. I don't think that was attached very well.
Guys, I'm so nervous that Eric and this mini X because we are up on the mountaintop. If he goes down, which he's right at the edge, he's going all the way down. All right, guys, here's a better look at that shower now that we have it all exposed and open. I'm so glad we didn't take our time trying to peel it off the wall. It was not worth it. It is so old school. We want luxury in our dome. He just didn't have things sealed off properly. You can see that's where the ends are coming from. They're down there on that pipe. You just gotta take your time with this stuff. Guys, this is a tiny home mess right here. We're gonna do our best to get it cleaned up and try to make piles to burn because the dump runs here in North Carolina are ridiculously crazy and we've just had better luck burning them. So we're gonna try and move all the insulation out the way because that's probably crazy flammable. Um, we probably won't get a fire started today but we definitely wanna make small piles to get it ready for burning. All right, I'm gonna help Eric clean up this mess guys and we will see you when this is all cleaned up and we have a better visual on what we're doing here. We have our little fire going because of course we tore down the bath house that was up here because the previous owner had the camper which he dismantled and took out the black and gray tanks and plumbed it into the floor so he built himself an extra bath house on the side that would accommodate him and his family. We did take it down and Eric is up on the roof of the port over the camper and he's starting to take a lot of that down off the roof and we have a lot of work still to come just because we're still grading out guys we had to scale back this mountain in order to give ourselves some more space on the road but I think it's coming along pretty good guys it's such a great view from up here and it's such a great spot on the property you can still hear the creek but you have all of the mountain views from up here so we are going to continue to grade out this area and just clear out everything from this area so we can really start fresh with a clean slate. All right, so we made some progress. We made a mess and like I said, once you have a mess going guys, you know you are actually in the money and you are making progress because if there is no mess, then you did no work. So we do have a pile going of stuff that we can reuse because this wood can be um, refurbished into the extension of the deck that we're gonna have to build. There is some piping that we may rerun in the floor because the bathroom never got used. So we are having some savings here, guys. But there's a big mess and we're getting this whole area ready. And when we're done, we are going to have quite a bit of space up here. And the one thing I love about our property, guys, is it's only two acres, but it's so secluded because there's almost a full acre on the bottom and then about an acre coming up to the top. So the, the property is split in a perfect portion to be able to give everyone a secluded spot. So guys, it has been a long process. It's gonna, it's gonna continue to be a process. I know this is not gonna be an overnight um, transformation for us. It's only me and Eric, and we do this on a daily. Every day we get up and we come here and blood, sweat, and tears at this property. And so we just appreciate everyone that actually watches the channel and appreciate what we do here. Thank you guys so much. And if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe because we're gonna be putting up the dome real soon.